Apparently, there's a new version of the Maverick Quantum Flux, and today I'm going to take it out of its case and see if it's any better than the original one. To help me do this video, after saving up your money for your Maverick Quantum MT Flux, how was it? Trash. Why was it trash? Because it kept on breaking. How much did it break? Every time that I used it. Every time that you used it. How long did you get to drive it when you first took it out of the box? I think about 10 minutes. And what happened in that 10 minutes? Broke the control arm. There were no spare parts available. The only option was for me to 3D print my own version of the part. That was okay, but not brilliant. Just before Christmas last year, I was in a hobby shop in Perth and they told me they've fixed all the problems. Lower control arms broke constantly. All it would take was a slight knock and they would break. Then the axle broke for no good reason other than you were just driving it normally. What did you think today, Spencer, when you saw this in its box? Why would you get this car again? I'm not being paid by anyone to make this video. I bought this out of my own money, 400 bucks Australian. There's the remote. I'm not going to take it out of the box just yet. What do you think is going to happen when I drop this, Spencer? It's going to break. From this height? Drop it. If it passes this test, we'll take it out and drive it. Drop it. Let me have a drop. Get a close up. Is that broken? It's not broken. Drop it. Look at that. What do you think? One more Spencer, just to prove it. Ready? Look at this. The control arms haven't broken. I'm actually genuinely surprised. I'm gonna take it out and give it a run. Fifteen minutes of driving is probably the longest we ever got out of our previous Quantum because quite frankly it was so rubbish it'd be broken within that 15 minute time. Checking out these control arms I can't see any crack it's a bit hard to tell the mold line still goes right down the middle where they used to crack in the back of these eye joints but I've got to say I am quite impressed that this thing has lasted so long and I did drive it head first straight into a couple of obstacles believing I would break it. So far Maverick Quantum you've proven to me that this car is a lot better than what, is, what it was two years ago when we first bought one. I'm actually now looking forward to testing this thing with 3S battery in it. That'll be coming up in a future video. I hope you enjoyed watching me try to break this Maverick Quantum 
MT Flux and fail. Until next time, see you later.